Health information technology uh, has uh, already begun to transform the delivery of healthcare in many ways. Uh, uh, the use of um, even simple things like email and text messaging in uh, primary care uh, have made a big difference and people are um, rapidly exploring lots of other potentials around sensor, sensor data, the ability to do remote monitoring, telemedicine, uh, and um, a variety of other uh, digital communications technologies. So probably the biggest barrier right now is the interoperability, the ability to share data across the system for data to flow freely throughout the system. Uh, <clears throat> there are a variety of uh, problems that sort of get in the way. There have been traditionally issues of standards. Uh, the uh, financial incentives for trans sharing data are not there. Um, many organizations still have a proprietary interest in their data and don't want to share that. And uh, there are privacy and security concerns uh, about uh, um, sharing data that may be become uh, widely available through breaches and other, other um, uh, releases. Yeah, I think the information blocking report that came out of ONC earlier this year, or last year, was, uh, was an important step forward. People now recognize the problem, and there is a lot of work on how to address it, how to uh, remove the barriers to information sharing. It's really going to be vital if uh, we're going to see the sort of um, growth of the technologies that are more consumer focused and you know, really able to deliver care to people where they are in the home or elsewhere.